Okay, let's start today's class. Yes, yeah, so today I'd like to show, introduce about the uh, one example bio resource utilization for aquaculture. Yes, yeah, so in first my class I introduced one species or uh, or one group of the microbes, Surastochytris. This one. So do you remember that? Yes, yeah, so it. In this lecture, I'd like to introduce my one of the research to utilize the uh, Surastochytris for aquifers. So it means I'd like to prepare artificial diets for aquaculture fish by using Surastochytris cells. Yes, I'd like to use microbial cells to prepare the fee fees for aquaculture fish species. But uh, why we need to, you know, prepare the um, aquifer by using microbial cells? So, including background, simply I'd like to introduce uh, my research result. Okay, so the title is like this: complete replacement of fish meal in aquifers for carp with lipid extracted resid derived from a thrush chytris. Aurantiochytrim, this is a strain name, MEM0039. So, Aurantiochytrim, a name of a genus, yes. So, uh, Aurantiochytrim is one of the genus of Thrushchytris. Yes. So, this experiment partially ca was carried out by my students who already graduated in my laboratory, Mr. Tai and uh, Hori, yes. And then, so results already previously, I had the presentation in Bangkok, Thailand. I think the three years ago, four years ago, anyway, before occurrence of COVID-19, yes. Yes, let's start. Okay, so uh, already I explained at first my class, so what are Strauss Kytri, but could you please remember again? Yes, Surastochytris are marine eukaryotic microbes. Sometimes we can call as oleogenous microbes. So it means oleo means the lipid. So yes, that's right. So they can produce oils in their cell bodies. Yeah, so in natural environment, they are widely distributed in marine environment, including estuary. And also, they can be classified into kingdom, Chromista, one of Stromenopyrus. Yes, I already explained. Yes, what is the most unique or, you know, beneficial the uh, characteristics? Yes, they can accumulate of much amount of leaves in cell bodies. Yes, so in the case of some species, or by arranging culture condition, we can increase the oil content more than 50% to dry cell weight. Yes. And also if we analyze, you know, the in the lipid, so when we look at the, the fatty acid profiles, so they can produce some the functional fatty acids such as uh, DHA is very famous for the, you know, supplement uh, to maintain our health. Yes, this is one of the results of gas chromatograph to analyze fatty acid composition. Yes, one peak means the one are uh, fatty acid. Yes, from here saturated fatty acid and also the carbon chain increased and so around here so it means the polyunsaturated fatty acid. Yes, so you know DH is very famous in the uh, fish oil, but the case of fish oil you know there are so many fatty acid, but the case of this the uh, species of thrush chytris. First, we can detect the, the big peak as uh, the saturated fatty acid, meaning as carbon 16. But after that, like uh, carbon the 18, it means like uh, uh, oric acid in, uh, gen genetically included in the plant oils. But uh, we cannot see the big peak. Yes, nothing. And finally, we can see the two peaks, especially this one. This is very big. Yes, this peak means the DHA. Yes, so like this, we can see the 
two big ticks but uh, in the middle so we cannot see it. so it means the composition of the fatty acid very simple as compared with with the fish oils okay so this is a microscopic observation pictures yes so such chitris is a uh, unicellular the microbes like this so the shape is soccer looks like a uh, white plankton but uh, you know here they cannot carry out photosynthesis because of rockiness of the uh protoplast i'm sorry <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry not the protoplast chloroplast chloroplast i'm sorry yes yeah, so they cannot carry out the photosynthesis so it means that like bacteria they can carry out the, the you know the metabolism and so they can grow based on the heterotrophic state yes they can utilize organic compounds and they can you know binary divide and increase the cell numbers as same with bacteria yes and also you know we already the are success to the high density cultivation so it means that either we can culture them so you know the uh, so output of these the organism so what is the the field so it means the production for functional fatty acid already i explained the dha like a supplement or biofuel to produce their energy to operate the like a car or a train or airplane yes so we can call cell, call like this the single cell oils production by using search chitris okay so this is uh, very clearly we can understand the potential of the lipid production by them yes left one is the gen standard microscopic observation yes you can see that the uh, uh, sacral cells of search chitris but the right one so we try to stain uh, repeat by using regent and so we try to evaluate fluorescent right so we can see you know orange orange fluorescence so it means the com combination with the refill so it means orange area show the accumulation of refills yes you can feel so they can produce much amount of refills oils in cell their cell body so we can carry out the uh, mass production and try to extract the lipids and we like to use the oil as a supplement or biofuel okay so simply our uh, i'd like to introduce the history of research on strauss to chitris okay so in the published the firstly the name of strauss to chitri was cited in 1867 by these papers yes more than 200 years ago and after that some researcher tried to focus on like uh, environmental research ecological the uh, research on the source cartridge in marine environment like this yes but uh, after that you know the uh i said that they can produce so much amount of rivets including like a dha functional fatty acid so they shifted to the you know the field of research theme from their ecological one to industrial utilization like this rapids fatty acid production or uh, to establish the cultivation technique and then to understand the fatty acid of synthetic pathway so we do we carry the out our genetic analysis yes and also you know not only are the lipids but also another compounds like uh, squaring carotenoids is very famous as the uh, supplement okay so like this so including the uh, lipids the squaring carotenoid and so the functional compounds so they like to try to produce uh the by using the search cartridges yes so it means the recent trend it had the forecast on the production of repeat yes but uh in my case you know i'd like to change my mind a little bit because so many big companies and so famous university try to forecast on the industrial utilization meaning the repeat production 
so it is very competitive competitive so for us and so our average is very small and so how we can you know the are uh, uh, make the strategies for industrialization of the source of countries yes so i'd like to avoid same field yes so that's why so our background is the aquaculture or fishery science so i'd like to use search countries their potential in this field okay so uh to produce heterotypic heterotrophic microbes including bacteria of course also the search countries in the various companies they set up the factories and so they can the culture them by using like this jar fermenter yes so in japan also you know uh very famous fermentation the uh technology was are established and so the the company set up the some facilities for culture of culture the of the microbes okay so in this production to i'd like to utilize the source of trees in aquaculture field but uh, before it of course we have to culture them and so we have to carry out mass production to supply the uh, many number of cells for aquaculture industry okay so Previously, I said, uh, you know, so many companies, university, try to produce their uh, lipid. Yes, this is uh, their own the, uh, strategies, and so this is our mainstream trend of the uh, the research. But uh, except for Sraskaitris, in this case, Orantiochytrium, what is a, a competitive the microbes candidate? Yes before using the search cartridge another researcher focused on this one botryococcus yes botryococcus is one of the phytoplankton and also they have you know a chloroplast it means the, they have to carry out uh photosynthesis okay let's the try to uh compare with uh, the both uh microbes from a viewpoint of growth in other words doubling time in case of botryococcus so they need a few days but a case of orantiochytrium just a few hours very different so it means that the orantiochytrium is be rapidly grow as compared with the botryococcus and also from viewpoints of the biomass productivity so of course this is depending on the culture system but generally are uh, in the standard conditions but caucus the biomass so we can get maybe approximately uh, 10 gram per liter or less than them yes but the case of orantio chitarin by using some fermentation technology we already success the the biomass become more than 100 gram dry base per liters. this one also very different Okay, so how about the rapid productivities? So, case of in buttery caucus, uh, basically they have a potential over accumulation of this the uh, repeat. So, for example, in the case of the dry bases, they can accumulate more than the 60 percent in cells. This is very high, I think. But the case of Orantio Kaidam, by arranging culture condition, we can success to increase the, the rapid concentration are become more than 70 percent yes this one also you know the little bit superior than the uh botryo caucus okay so another how about another aspect so basically the case of botryo caucus the oils consist of hydrocarbon and also i already said uh, they are autotroph so they need they need are the are uh, the right because they have to carry out photosynthesis but in case of the orantio chitrium as i said uh, they are hotertroph yes and also you know uh, they can accumulate the oils oils basically as a form of a triglyceride triglycerides yes and also they can produce various various depending on the species in other words they have various uh fatty acid synthetic pathway in each species or strains 
Okay. And also not only are the oil and the DHA, but also another functional compounds they can produce like uh, scoring and the carotenoid. And also to, for extraction of the, these compounds, their cell wall is very soft. So it means that we, you know, if we put some there, uh, organic solvent like uh, chloroform or hexane, either we can extract our compounds from cell wall, uh, sorry, cell components. Okay, so, but uh, why the uh, researcher forecast on the production of like a DHA by stretch cartridges? The hint came from the, you know, basics of the ecological, okay, ecology, ecology and the marine environment. You know, the, this is very, uh, very, very, you know, basic. They are uh, the pyramid, it's me the food chain. Yes. So, you know, the, as you know, the uh, very small, the, uh, are the, the organism like a bacteria, phytoplankton, of course, including the stretch chytrids, should be eaten by the, the larger, the zooplankton or small fish. Yes. And small fish, uh, zooplankton and so small fish can be eaten by the bigger fish. This is a food web. Okay, and also, you know, please focus on the bigger fish like a marine fish. They require the DHA to, sus uh, to sustain their, you know, adequate uh, growth and health. But uh, they cannot have, uh, you know, strong pathway to produce DHA in their gene. So why they can accumulate DHA? Yes, maybe you can estimate based on the food chain, food web, they can accumulate incorporate DHA. So where is, who is the source of DHA? Yes, that's right. The DHA source came from like a strausokytris or a phytoplankton. Yes, so human being also, you know, need to the incorporate DHA for our health. So that's why we need to eat the fish. But, uh, you know, as I said, the, D the DHA in the fish came from such chytrids. Yes, basically, you know, previously the people just think about uh, such chytrids is one of the decomposers in the marine environment. But uh, this, they are very important for our health because they can produce and they can supply the DHA, this food chain. Yes. So, you know, uh, our, you know, our, I think our health, the partially, these organisms, microbes support our health for supply, for supply of DHA. Yes, so, you know, the, uh, our the laboratory is looking for the good stretch kite trees for, and also up for application of the, uh, them to each industry. So it means that we need to so many candidates. So that's why, you know, they from the uh, Hokkaido, North Area and uh, South Area, like uh, Okinawa, Kyushu, we try to go to the sea and uh, collect the samples. And in laboratory, we try to isolate uh, them. And then like uh, identification and also various analysis, we select the adequate candidate for like a uh, oil production, DHA production, and also another compound like uh, carotenoids. Yes, like this, we already have some library of thrush cartridges in my laboratory. Yes, this is like, uh, you know, uh, background and so some introduction about the thrush cartridges. So here, so I'd like to show simply a novel research result for aquaculture application by using search cartridges. Okay, so our strategy is like this, you know, uh, comprehensively, you know, I'd like to use search cartridges, everything. Yes, as I said, basically now, you know, the world trend of usage of search cartridges is to produce leafies. Yes, 
Everybody focus on repeat, 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 oil, 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 D chain. Yes. So this is just you know our strategy illustration. Yes. Now world trend to produce the oil, I said. So it means that we have to, you know, the establish the culture technique and also we need to, you know, reduce the cost to produce oil. So, you know, so we are looking for some the very reasonable uh, components as a medium to culture our uh, source countries like a plant and wood. This is one of the carbon sources. Yes. So like this, we success to establish, you know, the uh, reasonable the culture system and so we can uh, produce oils. The oil can be utilized as source of the DHA like a sub supplement, but uh, by esterification we can get the uh, biodiesel fuel. So it means that we can use these oil as an energy source for operation of car, train, or airplane like this. But the, our team focused on focused on here. This is a process of extraction of lipid. Yes. By extraction, of course, we can get the oil, but uh, I found some the another fraction. Yes, so it means the resid after oil extraction, we can get uh, some solid fraction. Yes, almost no the oils, but uh, we can get uh, some solid fraction. So what is this? So we the are uh, think this is a byproduct of oil extraction. And I'd like to know what a kind of the uh, comp compound included in this byproduct. So my student the, the other day analyzed about the, the proximate analysis. So this compound basically, you know, consists of protein. Yes, originally, you know, in the cultural cells, so they accumulate the lipids, protein, uh, ash, something like that. Anyway, so there are so many are lipid. But after extraction of oils, we found in the byproducts. So we are the we could uh, detect the, the higher content of the protein. Yes, I'd like to use this byproduct as a protein source. But uh, for what? Yes, as I said, my the background is fishery science and aquaculture, and also now I'm carrying out some of the uh, experiment about uh, aquaculture fish. So why don't you try to use uh, this byproduct for aquaculture feed? But I have the news: we have to use microbial uh, compounds, protein for aquaculture feed. Yes, we need it. You know, now in aquaculture, they are feared. So we, when we prepare the fish, we have to use fish. Yes, basically we use the anchovy and try to extract it, the protein or oils. The case of protein, we can see the fish meal. FM in the fish meal. Fish meal is a main source of protein in the aquaculture feed. And the all over the world, basically, Aquaculture farmer utilize this fish meal as a protein source for aquaculture fish. But this is the data of the price of fish meal. Yes, from 2000 to and then recently to approximately 2014. Yes, the price is a little bit fluctuated, but the average price is increasing now because the source of anchovy also decreasing. Yes, this is a very problem for, you know, aquaculture farmer. Yes, and also, you know, please think again to culture fish like uh, bluefin tuna, magrore, and then amberjack, yellowtail, red sea bream. To culture them, we have to feed fish, anchovy. Yes, to culture fish, we have to feed fish. I think this is very strange. Yes, we need to change this the system to culture fish. That's why some researchers try to you know uh, now use uh, try to replace uh, protein sources from the like uh, anchovy to like a uh, plant or plant yes plant protein or like a uh, soybean. Not animal sources, but uh, there are some problem because you know when we compare between the animal and the plant. 
Of course, the protein, they have it. But the important thing, you know, composition of amino acid in protein. Yes, in protein, ah, sorry, in plant and animal, the composition of the amino acid is quite different. So it means when we, so if we try to use plant protein, something, you know, sometimes the, some kind of what, uh, amino acid lack uh, for the growth of aquaculture fish, so it's a problem. Yes. Anyway, so the, like this, the background, we need to replace the fish meal to another sources. Yes, in this the, our lecture, I'd like to introduce the possibility of replacement of fish meal by using Strauss Kytris protein. Okay, simply I try to show the materials and method in this experiment. Okay, so in this the, our experiment that I used Arantio Kytrium string MEM0039 isolated by our laboratories. Yes, we try to carry out the mass production by using these systems. Uh, this is a medium composition, so we are used as carbon source. We add the glucose and the protein sources extract was used. And also they are, you know, the marine microbes, so we have to use our artificial seawater as solvent. Yes, we added the various vitamins and culture them. Okay, and after that, we try to extract the lipid by using chloroform methanol mixtures. Yes, we success uh, to get the little rib to get the lipid. But the previous slide I explained, you know, after extraction of lipid, we get the, you know uh, some the solid fraction. Yes, so we can call say like this: lipid extracted resin containing sulfuric protein. L E R T P like this. Yes, I'd like to use this fraction for aquaculture feed. We'd like to replace the protein sources from fish meal to sulfuric protein T P. Okay, so this is uh, our the uh, condition for layering experiment. Yes, we set up you know like this our uh, closed recirculating system. Uh, this is our grass tank and so we added the outside filters and we control that water temperature by using heater yes and the way you uh, we utilize a carp as a model fish in this case and uh, the size was approximately 227 gram per fish and uh, one tank so we put the 10 fish and uh, feed diet for uh, and the uh, for one month Yes, and we prepare two kinds of diet. One is a control diet, so me meaning that this diet was the prepared of mainly fish meal. But a case of test diet, we completely replace protein source uh, from fish meal to TP. So please focus here. So this is a composition of the test diet, and this is a fish meal, and this is a LER, including sulfuric protein TP. Yes, like this. In case of control diet, uh, only fish meal was added as a protein sources. But the case of test diet, only TV LER was added without fish meal. Okay, by using two test diet, we carried out rearing experiment. Yes, for rearing for uh, one month, we time to time corrected the water to check the water quality. And after that rearing experiment, we analyze meat quality. It means the approximate analysis such as protein, lipid, ash, moisture. Okay, in the case of protein, so as I said, the uh, amino acid composition is very important for replacement of fish meal. So to check the amino acid composition, we analyze by using liquid chromatography. In the case of lipid, so we like to know the you know, composition of fatty acid. So we can analyze the fatty acid uh, by using gas chromatograph. And check we check the you know our gross performance of carb, and also like this we evaluate the nutritional value of edible portion meaning meat, cup of meat. 
ok result yes firstly i'd like to show the result of proximate analysis in test diet yes control and the tp diet uh, so please check the each value moisture protein crude lipid ash little bit fluctuate like a case of ash but uh, we could not to find the uh, significant different yes from the viewpoint of the basic nutrients proximate analytic value we success to prepare uh, the same quality uh, control and uh, tp diet Okay, this is the uh, amino acid composition of test of fees. Yes, so the blue mean the control, the red mean the TP. Yes, X axis mean the abbreviation of each amino acid. The case of ARG meaning the uh, means arginine, arginine, histidine, isolation, like this. And the Y axis mean the uh, content of the amino acid, uh, milligram per gram dry basis. Yes, please look at the each values. You know, the uh, we found the only case of methionine and glycine, so our uh, taurine, proline, so the value a little bit, uh, you know, higher uh, in the control group. But the another, the, you know, our diet, we could not the uh, significant differences. Yes, so this is very important because in case of plant, if we use the soybean, soybean protein for like this experiment so this the uh, profile quite different uh, with the uh, fish meal so we success uh, to prepare the uh, fish meal replacement diet by using such cartridges yes this is a result of approximate analysis of fish edible portion after rearing experiment yes this is initial day zero and control TV at the day 30. Yes, moisture, protein, lipid, ash, and others. So as you can see, you know, almost in two R groups are almost the same body was detected. Yes, so it means that we could success to uh, produce a carp from a viewpoint of, of the meat quality uh, from the uh, this data. Yes, this is a growth of fish. Yes, you know the total fish body weight. Yes, so after start the rearing, so you know the body weight increase. Of course, we fed every day, but you know between the control and the TP group, so we could not find the significant differences. It means from view viewpoints of the growth of calf, so I think our replacement of TP is possible. Yes, so we cannot, uh, you know, we success to uh, the replace completely the fish meal to trust cartridge protein. Oh, this is a rust data. So this is a profile of amino acid of the full body of carp. Yes. Yes, the blue mean the initial and the red and the green mean the control and the TP respectively at the rearing the 30 days. Yes. So in case of glutamine, we found the you know, higher value in control group than the, the treatment groups. But, uh, you know, the in other, the uh, amino acid, we could not find the skin kind of difference. So it means, you know, our profile of amino acid in edible portion, carp. So we can success to produce the carb at uh, the same quality. Yes. Uh, okay, so quickly I explain, but uh, simply I'd like to summarize these data. Okay, so LER meaning the trophoscytrin protein could be obtained from the aurantiochytrin. Yes, string uh, MEM0039. And also, you know, non-fish meal diet could be prepared with LER because we checked the, you know, approximate analysis and uh, the amino acid profiles, almost the same with the case of fish meal diet. Yes, and also we checked the uh, growth of carp and also, you know, almost the same. It means that comparable to the fish meal based diet. Yes, from this data, you know, we could, could success the, uh, the, the diet uh, without the fish meal for carp but uh, we need more another experiment because you know 
So this is just only 30 days experiment. So we need to carry out a long term courage experiment. Yes. But uh, we just focus on the meat quality and also growth. We have to check about, you know, health of carb, like uh, immune responses and also tolerance to fish disease. Okay. Yes, so finally, we'd like to construct a milestone to accomplish this technique for industrialization because, you know, in case of agriculture, the done carp, so Japanese people like to eat the marlin fish, like uh, yellowtail and amber jack, so we have to carry out by using these are agricultural species. Okay, so that's our explanation about data. But finally, I'd like to introduce show tree, my laboratory, MEM. Okay, so I'd like to, you know, as previously I said, I'd like to use the thrush kite everything comprehensively, not, not only lipids, oil, but also protein and or another components. We'd like to use everything without it waste. Yes, for a long time, you know, students and me and also some researcher so had tried to carry out experiment so many times and then students graduated so many students graduated from my laboratory like this basically japanese student but the case of the uh, this student she came from Vietnam and graduated and went back to her country and now is working as a researcher in the university yes they showed they so you know I uh, tried their best and so already we got uh, so some data and published in some journals okay now I think you know I'd like to put these you know information data knowledge and we like to big the big a uh, big stream like this I think you know each data is very small but uh, we try to pull so we can make the big river stream so I'd like to create a new, you know, uh, industrial field by using microbes. Okay, so if you have some the interest, especially the student in our department, could you please ask question to me? And I'd like to show some, the, you know, uh, possibility and, uh, you know, interest about the bacteria. Yes. Okay. So that's all my presentation. Yes. Thank you.